boy, what's... Mama! Oh, they remember me from last time! Really? Okay, my friend. I'm sorry, but you asked for this shit. I think. Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Place, This War of Mine, the Little Ones DLC. This should be episode number six of our semi-regularly scheduled program here, as you could probably call it. Um, right now, what I'm thinking we're going to do... I want to go back to the shell school. Remember how we made those saw blades? We now have access to that room in the shell school that was actually locked off to us. We have two of them, as a matter of fact. So we could go to the room that was locked off upstairs, and there was also one below where the hobos were at as well. So we have two options. I figure we want to take care of that because next night, I think we're going to get a bit dangerous next night. And we're going to go do something really dangerous in this episode, more than likely. We might die doing it, but I hope that's not the case. But we're going to probably go over to... One of the spots with danger. If I remember correctly, the Sniper Junction also does require uh, a couple of saw blades too. And I think that's where you get the shotgun, if I'm right. A shotgun could be really interesting as well for some future dangerous maps too. So I think Shield School today, we grab those items and then we do a night portion that's going to be kind of dangerous for us. So, um, let's see. We're going to take... Um, since I don't expect to run into danger at the Shield School, I'll take Crystal for this one, and we'll keep Roman healthy for the next night, which is going to be the dangerous one. So, we'll scavenge with Crystal. Roman, you stay guard. And then Girl sleeps in bed. That is good. We're going to be going to the Shield School, so prepare. Um, I'm going to take two of these. Because I know there's one in the classroom, and there's one in the underground as well. In terms of the other items, I don't think we need anything else. So, we're going to go straight up like this. I'm pretty sure we should be fine. I think I took care of all the digging last time when I was here. And also... That's about it, really. So, I think our goal is here. There's a saw blade little door on the other side of this. I think everything else... God damn it, I hate this thing so much when it goes upstairs. Like, the, the thing is, and I'm always, like, going upstairs and I'm already hitting right to, you know, turn right. But he reads it, or the game kind of computes it as you just want to go back downstairs. And that's never the case. Never want to go back downstairs, man. So, alrighty. I just wanted to see if there was anything that I left behind here last time. Possibly I could have, but for now, we have this area here. Perfect. And then there's one below with the little herbal workshop. Can't really imagine what I'll find down there. Maybe just a bunch of tobacco? Which is fine. The item's broken. Cool. Now, this hopefully is actually worth my time. Um, what? Oh, hey, a damaged helmet. That's actually worth my time. We could, ref we could fix that. <gasps> Oh my god, it really is worth my time! <laughs> awesome! We now have shotguns, which is something I wanted to have for... Well, yeah, sure, go ahead and unlock the shortcut we're at it. I wanted to have these shotguns for Roman at night, because as I mentioned, I want to go to a dangerous place. So if I have to kill somebody, better a shotgun than a handgun, I'm going to say. So, let's find out what's over here. Yes, I opened that door for the little rat over there. He wanted to get in, apparently. And electrical parts, okay. We have one more saw blade, and we'll use it down below in that little hobo area. How you guys doing here, huh? Just hanging out? Now, you're not gonna mind, right, Mr. Hobo, if I saw blade that over there? Just in case I'm gonna close this door, in case they do mind. Alrighty. So that's gonna be all of our saw blades. We have a couple more weapon parts back home, but now that we got the shotgun and the helmet... We might indeed want to save those parts for, you know, maybe fixing those instead. This is considered private property. Oh my god, I'm sorry, homeless people, but... It's four veggies. I wouldn't have taken it otherwise, but, you know, I broke a saw blade for it, so I kind of had to do it. You guys aren't going to go all full crazy hobo on me, are you? No? Okay. Now. That right there is also their property. I've considered in the past... Oh, you know what? I didn't read the note up there, did I? There was a note up in that place where we got the shotgun just now. I'll go back and read that really quickly. That right there is theirs. I'm not sure how they would react if I just take it straight up and run. Like, do you think um, all the homeless people would react and start attacking me on the way out? They don't have any weapons, though, do they? <laughs> this will be the last time we're here if I steal from them. So, I don't know. Do I steal from homeless people? I feel kind of bad about it, but yeah, it's my survival here. I don't know. It's always these judgment calls when it comes to this game. I found a letter. Mom, it's terrible. A girl I knew was shot today by a man called Sniper. 
I can't believe I won't see her again. She was such a kind girl. What did she do to the sniper? They turned off the electricity and the teacher said we would have to stay in school a little longer today. I don't know why. I want to see you and your dad and dad already. At least they promised to bring you this letter. Will you come and take me home? Oh my god. Well, I think it's safe to say she um probably perished and mom never got that letter. Oof. Alrighty, well. No, I'm not gonna steal from the homeless people. I feel kinda bad about doing it. Oh my god, I forgot how many components we had here. Baby. I needed you. I need a lot of you back home. All right, this is actually good. So, let's get rid of the coffee. I don't think we have any people that drink coffee in our base, so get rid of it. Um, let me get rid of you. Electrical parts are kind of useful for a lot of stuff that we're going to build, so... But at the same time, I think we have a lot of them back home, so for now, just leave it back here. I'll take the roll-up cigarette for any, some training at the military outpost. I want to fix this, I want to fix that, and fix that. So, now we have a couple of spots available for components for one. And maybe even some wood. So we can do that. Anything else of interest down here? No, it's all going to be components and wood. Well, if we ever need wood or components, we could always come back here, right? There it is. That's all I could take. I think it's worth it. So, overall, really good just because of the, the shotguns alone, honestly, is really, really worth my time. And I guess we could probably even saddle up Roman with uh, the helmet if we fix that, too. Day number nine. I feel like we're doing really good for day nine. We have a lot of good stuff here. We got raided again? Jesus. Roman, did you get it, though? We were raided. No. It seems that Roman is starting to feel a bit unwell. Uh, someone tried to rob us. Yeah, he was able to fend them off, thankfully. Man, these attacks are becoming really, really frequent now. We had, like, back-to-back -back attacks now. Roman is slightly sick. We can cry over stealing once we survive this hell. He doesn't care about my stealing. Iskra has no update, and you have no update. Okay. So, let's see. Hungry and sad. Yeah, I know they came. What can I do, little girl? I mean, you know, I gotta, you know, go out and find stuff. Look, let me get you happy. Uh, Roman is slightly sick. This is a really bad time for you to get sick, Roman, because I needed you to be healthy for our next little um, dangerous mission for you. You're hungry, slightly sick, and tired. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Did you just stumble a bit? Is it how sick you are, dude, or what? Now, for the sickness, do I just need herbal stuff? Is that is that really all I'm looking for? Is it pills? It's, it's, he's only slightly sick. How much is it going to affect me in the map, I wonder? Well, look, just take some pills just to be safe here. Okay. Uh, you're hungry, sad, and tired. You might want to have a talk with the girl. That might kind of cheer you up a bit. But I'll do that after we get you some sleep here, too. You're scared? Yeah. Have a talk with the girl, I guess. Maybe it'll clear up the sadness. Uh, you're on medication now, which is cool. And then you're tired, so the other thing you need to do is get some rest. Oh, we got our trap down here, too. Great. So you guys do that. I'm gonna go ahead and check out our trap here. Oh, of course. I hate this when... A smoke comes me. I hate it when, like, um... They're over there ta talking or whatever. You can't interact with anything else for some reason. It's such a weird anomaly. It, it, it annoys me, honestly, because they should be able to do their thing. I should be able to use somebody else to do something else meanwhile, but apparently it just freezes. I can't see. I don't have any interactions with these items here. I can only open doors, but that's about it. Are you guys done up there? Are you done? Okay. Well, you guys stop talking and I, I can't interact with anything. Is that what you're telling me? No, I don't want to skip the day. Oh, g swell. Are you kidding me now, or what? I can't interact with anything. Even though they're done talking. Well, how am I going to get some rest? And like everything else I'm supposed to be doing right now. The fuck? Oh, come on. This is silly. Oh, I gotta redo all this again. Alrighty, note to the wise. Don't ever talk to the uh, people when you come back. I'm gonna restart, guys, so I could, um, you know, have to do the OC again. So I'm gonna skip it, I will come back, and you already know what I did, I'll just do that off-camera again. And not talk to the girl, because apparently that freaks everything out now. That's silly. Alrighty, guys, so, I'm back, I did all the stuff I just did off-camera last time around. Uh, luckily around, though, this time around when I loaded in, because we got frozen up, um, Roman was not sick anymore, so, <laughs> I guess in a way it kinda worked out. I got rid of the, or at least I avoided the Roman illness here, so it keeps my medicine supply up and dandy. 
So he's all cool now. Um, the only thing that's going problem right now is the problem is that we have sad daughter. Let's have you play some jump rope over here, if you may. Uh, Crystal, you come over here and go ahead. Go ahead and um, put another filter in the water. And we have one left after this one. And then homeboy Roman, make me some weapons. So, if we're going to go out here tonight and get really dangerous, we're going to have to take some good supplies here with us. So, we have a shotgun that we could fix, and it costs me all of my weapon parts for the most part. Though we have seven of nine. This requires... Oh, this doesn't require weapon parts, thankfully. So we could fix this right now? Yes, do it! That's an easy fix. Oh my god, I thought it required weapon parts for some reason, but it doesn't. Perfect. We got all the items we're needed for it as well. So, Crystal, you're just sad. You probably need to have a talk with somebody, which I don't mind doing, but whenever I have a talk with anybody, the game freaks out and I can't interact anymore, so... I'm gonna make sure that we're done with everything we're doing, and then we'll have you interact with the daughter. And then that'll be it. Is there anything else you can do here, meanwhile? Let's see. No, no! Don't talk to Papa! Don't talk to Papa! Don't talk to Papa! No. Dad. God damn it! Froze up again. Oh, now everything's fine. Okay, last time it froze. Well, now we're cool. Okay, I was worried there for a second. Uh, he's still sad, however. Let's see. Girl's done drawing. I had her play hopscotch. I had her jump rope. She's still sad. Mm. If we have the supplies, I guess what I could do here is... Make her the swing. We also have the toy box requires four toys. Uh, I haven't been bringing those back, honestly. Let's make the swing. Make the swing over here. So, up here sounds relatively fine. Yeah, go make that. Um, let's see about this weapon now. Alright, so if I do this, we'll have two weapon parts left over. This would have four weapon parts left over. I also have some bullets for the pistol. The shotguns have their own ammunition, right? I don't remember seeing shotgun shells in the game, but, you know, I've never really been too aggressive in my gameplay, so maybe I just never really seen them or collected them. Saw blade, we need this for the sniper junction, if I remember correctly. So maybe at least having one more ready should be fine. I have a couple of knives, and I also have the helmet for him now. So what I could do is just go into a dangerous map with the helmet and the knife, and just go about it that way. I think... I'm gonna go do something really terrible <laughs> this night. I have an idea what I'm gonna do. I'm not exactly proud of it, but I think we're gonna have to do it. Now, let's see. We have enough food to cook again. Do we have enough water to cook? I'm not sure, because she's hungry. Although I could feed her tomorrow. Don't don't go back downstairs. Just go play in the swing. Go play in the swing. There you go. Yeah. Now, didn't I make her a soccer ball? No, I guess I didn't make her this run. I'm thinking about the, the one shot that I did on this, huh? Alrighty. Do the other water, or night's or our day's almost over. I don't think you're necessarily the best cook out here, Roman, but sure. Why not? We'll have you just start the meals, I guess. Not sure that's good enough. Oh, and by the way, the radio report said that armed robberies and assaults are going to be more frequent now. So that's the reason why I've been getting like back-to-back -back assaults on the base. Uh, we have enough water. Oh, we actually have enough water for four meals do it. You won't be done in time, but we can continue it tomorrow. Assuming you're still alive. Because you're about to go in a really tough spot. Okay. I think we go to the ruined villa. And this place is the one that we've been to before, and we stole some stuff around, but then we were run off by those people there. And now I'm gonna go with Roman, and if they get decide to get crazy with us, we could just kill them with Roman. So, we're gonna go to the ruined villa. We will take the weapon with Roman. So, Let's see. I don't think I need the helmet for this location. At least I don't think we do. So I'll just take the knife. I mean, he already has a low carrying capacity as it is. So we will take the knife. And that's basically it. Although, although, can we use a lockpick maybe to sneak around before we start getting, you know, really killy-killy? Maybe. I think there was a saw blade area in here too. I just don't really recall too well. I'm going to take this lockpick with me as well. I remember this place. We were run off here with Crystal last time. What? What happened? No, no, what, what happened? What, what's the deal? I just, I just fucking walked in. <laughs> Don't run off this way! Why did that woman freak out? Okay, let's zoom out. Let's zoom out. I need a good scope of the map here. What, what's the fucking problem? Um, excuse me? 
What, what's... Mom! Oh, they remember me from last time! Really? Okay, my friend. I'm sorry, but you asked for this shit. I think. I beg you, stop. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. They remember me from last time. Now, why they think... How they know I'm with fucking Crystal is beyond me. But okay, here's what I did. I attacked. Sure. But I didn't kill. Okay. So, I'm letting that motherfucker live. Look, let's be honest here. I came with the intention of stealing. Yes, maybe. You're right. But I was going to steal without killing until I really had to kill. I gave them a chance. They're alive. So I don't feel too guilty now. Now, when I come back here in the future, are we cool is my real question. By the way, I have a lockpick, so I'm glad I brought that with me now. Uh, let's see. I hope there's no crowbar stuff up there either. There we go. So. That's interesting. I've never, I've never done that here in this map. So apparently if you attack them and you give them mercy, they'll leave you alone, which is fine. Let me take the bullets, though. Alrighty, guys. So I've just about moved everything I could. Um, there was one little batch of wood left over at the bottom corner, but it's only it's almost five, so I don't think I have enough time to make it over there and come back in time. So, let's see, we're gonna take the good stuff for trading, obviously, in case we have Franco roll up today. Oh, a lot of food. Uh, I kinda wanna take the fertilizer just so we have some more bait for the mouse traps as well. The cigarettes could be useful if we go to the military output for trades. I'll do this one. We have three spots left over over here. Anything of really big value. Uh, I can make that toy box finally, I guess. Let me take the bullets. I'll take those, and... Um, components are always really important. But, you know what? For the girl's sake, let's go ahead and take the... Oh, actually, I actually have an extra spot. We'll take the four teddies, which are needed for the toy box. And then with the last spot, we have weapon parts over here. I mean, we could make the shotgun and maybe even another gun afterwards. So, there is that. Um... But water is for food, which is something we're kind of struggling with as well. Just keeping a lot of water. So it's good. That's fine. I know, I took what I want. I'm going to just walk by, so relax, okay? It could have been worse for you guys, but I decided to hold back with Roma out here. He's a killing machine, but I left you alive, so it's all fine. Alrighty. Let's see how this has an impact on my people back home now. That's what I'm really interested about. Are they going to be really upset about it? Who knows? We were attacked. No, we weren't attacked. Oddly enough. Alrighty, we weren't attacked. I'm glad you're back. What did you bring? Hungry, tired? Hey, nobody's upset that I stole. Hey, that's good. Hey, girl. No, get, get your ass back in here. <laughs> Don't go out there. Um, can we zoom in? Okay, that's... I was wondering why it looked so weird, but I was just zoomed out completely. Alright, it's fine. Hungry and tired. So, Roman! Off to get yourself some sleep, and then we'll deal with everything else here. Uh, you are tired. Let's get you rested. And I'll have the girl cook the rest of those meals here that Roman started last time. <laughs> no, just just go to sleep. Girl, no, this is not time to talk to Daddy. Daddy and Roman have to sleep right now. So you are in charge of finishing up the food here. Actually, before you do that, let me put a filter over here. I'm pretty certain we should get a... Oh, we don't have a filter! I'm pretty certain we should probably get, um... Kazan showing up here today. It's been a couple of days anyway, has it been? I oh, don't know. I forget when the last time he showed up. Mm -mm. What do you mean, no? Oh, right, right, you, that's the metal workshop. You make stuff over here, which is the filter. Hmm. She does take longer to make this, I've noticed. I mean, it makes sense she's a kid, but even, even though if you teach them how to make stuff, it doesn't seem like they're quite as proficient as you overall. Like, it says 0.5 to make that, but it takes her a lot longer. I wonder if it's like double, maybe. Because this is more than 0.5. What time did I start this one? Yeah, it's more than 0.5 easily. Because it's going to be 40. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like an hour. So maybe the kids take like double the amount of time to make that. Someone's at the door. Is it? Nope, that's not Cousin, alright. Help, uh, help. Anyone there? Needs help. Yeah, it definitely takes her a lot longer. Right, luckily, Crystal's already awake, so that's fine. Let's find out what these um, fine gentlemen might need. It's probably those um, neighbors that we had come in to pass off for us stuff. Maybe they're here to collect now. Open the door, please. 
All right. What's up? Don't turn your back on me, please. Okay, I'm not turning your back on you, man. I'm over here looking you face to face. As a matter of fact, I'm so close up in your face. Will you help us reinforce our shelter? Hello, it's us again. The military intensified shelling of our area, and we decided we need to reinforce our improved shelter in the cellar. We've got the necessary materials. We could use an extra pair of hands, and maybe you could help us. Okay. Um, I'm down for doing this, because you have given me food in the past. But I'm not going to do it with Crystal, because I might just send them to do some trading next time around. Because I don't think we have to go to a dangerous map anytime soon. So I'm going to send Roman off to you guys. So once Roman wakes up, I'm going to have him give you guys a hand. You finish up the meals, I guess. Girl's done with that. She's hungry. I'll get her some food here pretty soon. Once Roman is awake. There he is now. Uh, I'm not going to send him fed. I think he should be fine for a couple of days this way. And when he comes back, I'll just feed him then. So, Roman. Oh, shit, son. They left. No, no. I was... I was going to help. No, I swear I was going to help. Oh, you know what it was? I don't think I hit just one sec. I think I hit B to cancel. Because I was trying to cancel out where Chris would have come back with Roman. Ah, that's what happened there. Oh, well. I wanted to. I had the intention to do so. Sure, they were nice to us, but maybe because they had been planning to use our help all along. Oh. Yeah, I know. They're the people who gave us food. We should have helped our neighbors. They were kind to us. I know they were. You don't got to rub it in my face, game. Those nice neighbors came to us again. I was hoping they brought some fruit or candy, but they did I know they brought stuff for us the first time around. I wanted to send Roman. I was going to do it. Don't look at me that way. I wanted to do it. Alrighty, guys. And for this one, we're going to do something relatively easy this time around. I want to go to the military outpost finally. Trade away some of our cigarettes and some of our booze. And um, give these people a nice, easy night here. And then next episode, we'll probably go back to doing something dangerous. But... I want to have at least one episode in between so, you know, I don't screw the pooch too bad here. So, we'll take this for trading. Let's go and scavenge. We went to the right place, right? You better have, Falcon. You better have gone to the same place. Military outpost, good. So this out here I could grab if I want to, which I probably will, but... First and foremost, hey, excuse me, my friend. Yo, yo, I want to do some trading. No, the gate is secure. Can I open this now? Ah! I'm sorry! I just wanted to trade! Okay. No, no, I'm fine. I just want to trade. Just trade. 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 It's just trade. Okay. <laughs> I saw him go out there. I figured maybe this might be the time to open that shit up and take stuff. But then he just popped in so fast. Okay. Okay, you know what? Let's fucking do it. I told you guys I am interested in getting crazy with Roman, and I feel if I'm terrible at stealth and killing people, maybe with an assault rifle I might do a bit better. So we'll go about it this way. Grab all this extra stuff here. That's about it. I want to get into that little locker back there too. <laughs> Wait, they're trying. No, he's coming back already. Right? Yeah, we gotta go. Alrighty. Alrighty. Next episode, do not be surprised if we use that assault rifle on a crazy area. We have a lot of bullets now. We have the assault rifle. We have a helmet. It's not exactly the bulletproof vest, but at least it's a helmet. Should help me out a little bit. So you know what? I think we go for it next time around. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.